when am I never not drinking coffee? That's what I want to know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to talk about my new short hair. Yup, I finally did it. I finally cut my hair. I went short about a week and a half ago, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was almost in tears when I saw how short it was. <laughs> not because it's a bad haircut or I hate my friend Rafi who cuts my hair. I was emotional because I'm not used to it. It's such a big change for me. I haven't had short hair in about three to four years now. And even then, it wasn't this short. So when I saw it, I was like, <laughs> But now that I'm finally used to it, I found a way to style it to the way that I like it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I go from this to this. And everything I'm going to mention in this video, all of my tips and tricks and what I use in this video is going to be so easy. You guys know I don't like making things complicated. Was that my dog? So I think we're ready to begin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Without further ado, let's do this. Let's drink some coffee first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so here is what my hair looks like when it's all wet. I haven't applied anything to it. I haven't done anything to it. It's just at its natural state at the moment. The first products I'm going to be using, it's no secret to you guys, I'm gonna be using these two products from Garnier. I've talked about these guys many times on my channel, so I'm not gonna go into full details, but basically they're both thickening products. They make my hair look fuller, thicker, and it just adds a lot of volume. So I'm gonna go in with the Mega Full Thickening Lotion first. I'm gonna spray this all over my hair. I like to use my fingers to really massage it through to really distribute the product evenly, especially under here, so that I can also get fullness down here. Because I want the fullness all over my hair, not just up top. I really want the fullness all over, so I make sure that I'm also getting the bottom section of my hair. And then I'm gonna go in with the full and plush ends plumper and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Apply it all over my hair. I do about two to three pumps of this and just apply it evenly all over my hair using my fingers. Alright, so after doing that, what I usually like to do is let my hair air dry and do my makeup while it air dries. But since I've already done my makeup, sometimes I blow dry it. It really depends how fast I'm trying to get ready, but as much as possible. I'm just doing my best to not put as much heat as possible because you know obviously the more heat you apply to hair the more damaging it is so I'm just gonna go ahead and let it air dry for now and I'll be right back in three two one Boop. hello I'm back so my hair is pretty much dry now um, while I was waiting for it to dry I was watching Netflix I was watching unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt and you know, obviously drinking my coffee. iPad, Netflix, coffee, boom, good to go. And now that my hair is fully dry and straight, you can see the hairstyle a little bit better. As you guys can see, it's longer in the front and then in the back, um, it's a lot shorter. Like the back parts right here is a lot shorter than the front part, which makes it a lob, lob? Mob hairstyle? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what you've all been waiting for and it's how I curl my short hair slash lob and make it look big and voluminous. So to curl my hair, I'm gonna be using my favorite hair curler. This is about one and a half inch. And again, this is another product, another tool I talk about constantly on my channel and everything I'm talking about in this video will be down in the description box below. So be sure to check it out if you guys are interested in anything that I talk about in this video. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off first. So I'm taking the top part of my hair and clipping them together so that we can focus mainly on the bottom part. I'm also gonna use gloves to curl my hair because ever since I cut my hair, now that my hair is shorter, I've been burning my fingers more with my hair curler. So I don't wanna burn any more fingers. So I'm gonna start off with this portion of my hair first. And what I like to do is face my curler down like this. And then I wrap my hair onto the barrel for about a few seconds and then I release. I literally only leave it on there for about one to two seconds and then I release and as you guys can see there's that little bend which is exactly what I'm trying to achieve I'm not trying to achieve like tight curls I'm just trying to achieve loose like a loose wavy hairstyle if you will so if you're not satisfied with that you obviously can go back in 
then do the exact same thing and then you just release and also I don't like to wrap the end part of my hair I just kind of leave it hanging I don't want that part to be curled I just want it loose at the end like that because I find that whenever I curl the end part of my hair my hair gets shorter and it looks shorter and I don't want that so I just kind of let that be and do its thing and then some parts I like to leave it longer than two seconds maybe about three to four seconds I'm not really consistent with it so that the curls aren't like too structured some will be curlier than others some will be loose than others so that's just something to keep in mind so that you know, it's not too perfect looking because I'm definitely not trying to go for perfect curls. I'm trying to go for like beachy, loose, wavy curls. And then some sections I like to go back and then do the exact same thing. And then this time I'm going to hug the curler and let it go immediately. And again, you just get different kinds of like curls versus just one curl, if that makes any sense. <laughs> Sometimes I go back in and curl a few more pieces, especially like the front part of my hair because these are the ones that frame my face. And after that, I just kind of loosen them up a little bit and spread and spread them apart. And then I'm gonna move on to the next side. The most challenging part for me is curling the back parts of my hair because it's so short and it's barely getting onto the barrel. Like it barely fits but always make sure to show your back hair some love because trust me, sometimes I forget about the back side and I'm over here walking around with my hair looking good in the front, but then in the back it's like, <laughs> what happened? All right, so after I'm done again, I'm just gonna use my fingers to spread it out, loosen them up a bit and just kind of tussle them around like this. So now that we're working with the top section, I like to make sure that my hair is already parted. So I like, my part to sweep like this, to swoop like this. Um, yep, that should be good. I'm gonna work on this side of my head first and basically do the exact same thing. And then these guys, the ones in the front, I like to focus on this a lot because these are the ones that, that frame my face the most. So after I do my hair, I like to go back in and curl it a little bit more, show it some extra love because they're the front guys. <laughs> and as you guys can see throughout the entire time I'm curling my hair away from my face, I just find that I get more volume whenever I curl away from my face. And if I see anything else that I need to retouch, now's the time to do it. And honestly, now that my hair is so short, it literally takes me only a few minutes to do this. I know it seems like it's a really long process, that's because, you know, I'm explaining everything to you guys, but when I'm just doing this by myself, no talking <laughs> whatsoever. It literally takes me under 10 minutes, sometimes even five minutes to do this because it's so easy to maintain short hair. All right, so now that we're done with the top part, I'm gonna release the rest of my hair. Oh, we are almost done. I'm gonna tussle it around, spread out all of the curls. And as you guys can see, there's so much volume to it already but you already know i'm not stopping there mm -mm, i'm gonna kick it up a notch and add a texturizing spray this is from igk hair this is the beach club texture spray and i'm absolutely obsessed with this product this product does a really great job of adding a lot of texture to my hair make it more fuller and the best part you guys it lasts so long on your hair it even carried on till the next day for me which is insane and if it feels like it's wearing off you can just shake your hair again just like this and it'll generate and wake up the product if you will but that's huge that's that's some huge hair right there ah! and then for the finishing touch I like to just tuck in this part right here I leave some pieces and then tuck this in that's it that's how I style my new short hair Alright you guys, so that is officially
officially it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Again, everything mentioned in this video will be down in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. Be sure to come back in a few days for a brand new video, and that is officially it. I love you. Have an amazing day, and my dog barking again? Yeah, he's barking. Okay, I gotta go and check on my dog. I love you. Oh my gosh, he's calling me. I, I, got, I got to go. Junior, I'm coming.